are not listening to me. Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Bitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Hey, I helped too. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome. Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? He's walker food. Relax. What if there are others? What if they come looking for him? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means... There's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping this together. <laughs> well... At least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be alright eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt it. Me too, but it's not like you can go ask one. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. 
She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie would be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess that doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can, can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet looked like she was having a good time. It's nice, not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice, too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. I do. I really do. It's good to feel safe somewhere. There. You gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. There, that's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good too. Oh, I know. I'm not sleepy. <laughs> Liar. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let him bite. Come on, play it right. One time. Bang. <laughs> Good work. And thanks.
What the hell? There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. another entrance to the basement around here. We are 
Dark. Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station. We got history. Brody. Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlon was so ashamed of what- Shut up! What'd you say? She I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. So, so, so. You're gonna be okay. I promise. God damn it! Hell! Did you say that? I told you not to say it! How? What can I do? Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? We talked about driving up into the mountains, where you could see everything. You and H.A. Bo. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. You're a good person, Clem. I would have liked to get to know you better. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let him take you. Take us? To make him go away. <laughs> like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. <laughs> Brody. <laughs> it in there and lift up the latch. Maybe. 
On both sides. Must have the key. Damn it! work. Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? That's bullshit, Marlin! Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open! That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! What did you do? We saved their lives when anyone else would have kept walking. We fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us! Guns being pulled and murder! Well, fuck them! Fuck! Marlin! Jesus Christ! Go ahead! You already took one life today! What's another one for the pile? What's holding you back, Marvel? Cowardice? Guilt? Or both? <laughs> Brody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to Raiders in exchange for safety! The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie! Oh my god! Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Ah, oh, cut him the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. 
I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me? Your friend? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take it? Please, don't let him do this! Oh no, I am not involved. What? I like you, Clem, but I... Not me. I'm sorry. You're, uh... On your own. I'm sorry. Then you better bury me deep. Because if I come back, I'll come for you first! Shit. Marlin, come on, man. Drop the gun. Lewis! She killed Brody! We can't let her walk away! Clem, I... I, I gotta trust Marlin. I just... I gotta. I always have. Brody trusted him. And now she's dead. And he killed her! Take that back! Man. Come on, dude, just drop the gun. This is how adults do things, not us. Stand down, Mark. Be reasonable. <clears throat> you don't get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! <laughs> All of you! Every fucking one of you! How does pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. If they came back, I'd do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. <laughs> Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. A real leader would have sacrificed himself. I wanted to get them. Stage some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. You're pathetic. Is it true? No, it's, it is. You were just the only one who couldn't see it. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. Fine. 